Lewis, game of two halves, game of five minutes, however you want to look at that, there was a big moment in that second half which changed everything. Fulham were on top, United were struggling, we took advantage of some ill discipline, you could say, that's it. Exactly, yeah, a poor game to be honest, I thought, in terms of our performance, but then again, we played so much football. I mean, the demand, obviously, we, when was the last time we had a winning World Cup? It's unbelievable the amount of games these players are playing, and they deserve so much credit as well. I mean, it's going to be a hard game against Fulham, and I thought that, that five-minute period, just complete chaos. But I think that's the difference between us and these smaller teams. We've got that spirit. We've got that that we've got that now to just go on and do it. I feel like in the Mourinho times, the early times, we get a 1-1. And then we go on to draw it still. I feel like we've got a lot more chance. I just feel like we're going to win every single time. I just feel like we've got so much more spirit in this team. That's it. You said it then, game after games. They give you confidence that we've got that spirit and mentality because the games are coming thick and fast as soon as this international break is finished. It's like Wembley again. Back to Seville, another two legs there, and obviously we're playing the backlog of games in the league because of these pile-ups in cup games. I mean, does it give you confidence going in that we've got that difference in mentality now on the ten? One hundred percent, one hundred percent. And I feel like it's been it's been really good from the guys, but they need these two weeks as well. Yes, it's an international break, but it's still hopefully for some of the players we'll give them a few more rests, a little bit more rotation in their national teams. And yeah, hopefully we'll come back feeling up more fresh. Obviously, Newcastle first game, but they're going to Dubai for a bit of training. So they're going to be fresh. They're going to be up for it. It's going to be a super hard game. But I th I'm really confident that we're going to have a really good end to the season. Then. Just adrenaline as well. <coughs> that? That's it. Brighton in the semi-final. Yep. It's the better of the two semi-finals, let's be fair. 100%. Confident we can get food out and make it a Manchester Derby final? 100%. I feel like it's written the stars for a Manchester Derby final. I mean, when, I don't know when the last time it was, but... Um, yeah, I feel like it's written in the stars and it'll be a tough game against Brian, cracking side as we've seen this season. But I feel like just again, like those type of games will just show that more professionalism. The players like Casemiro, your Varans, they'll they'll get us through those types of games and compared to before we wouldn't have those type of leaders and in those moments it just shows like it just I just feel like it, the confidence is just so high and I feel like we'll get through. That's it, yeah, you mentioned Casemiro there missing there today. It looked like we did miss him as oh, well. Yeah. Varane also missing, bit of a break now, he'll come back stronger. Yeah. We're going to need them characters to get through this spell now when we get back. It is officially, after this international break, the old Fergie squeaky bum time, yeah, isn't it, mate? Because yeah. every game has got something on it now. Yeah, that's it. I mean, again, we saw today, obviously, as you said, Casemiro missing, massive difference, but we are where we are. We, we can only deal with the players that we've got, and we've got to get the best out of them. And tonight, I feel like, is doing that. He's getting the best out of every player as we can with the amount of fixtures. And I feel like, yeah, you know, we'll get. I feel like we'll get for it. It'll be tough. Obviously, a lot more tough without Casemiro because the drop off from him to, to Mosomane is massive. But you know, I just feel like, hopefully, after these games, when we when he when they do come back again, hopefully he doesn't get another red card because that is a concern. You know, um, but yeah, I feel like again, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll be good as soon as they come back because these type of people are so important for us. Before you go, Lewis, mate, prediction: league position. Are we going to win the FA Cup? Are we going to win the Europa League? Okay, I feel like league position, we're going to get that third place, 100%. Um, FA, Cup for, FA Cup final, oh, it's a tough one to call to be honest. Because Man City, you know, the Man City greats. Oh, I'll, go, I'll go with United Way. I feel like that could be a type of game that could go to a penalty shootout. A really tight game that could go all the way to a penalty shootout. And then Europa League, I feel like, again, Seville, good side. We've had, got a record against them, but again, that, we're a different United now. Completely unrecognisable to before we are. And I feel like, again, Europa League final again it'll be, it'll, be, it'll be difficult but you know Roma it's probably going to be you never know Jose Mourinho I feel like we're going to do it I feel like we're going to do it all Trebles, so, the treble's on the, the treble's on treble's on third in the league mm -hmm. brilliant stuff Lewis absolute pleasure talking to you Best mate cheers for coming on pal cheers thank you